comedy and soul. Please welcome Anne of Green Gables. You want to know what I said to her, Marilla? In my apology? Oh, Mrs. Lynde, I am so extremely sorry. I could never express all my sorry. No, not if I used up a whole dictionary. You must just imagine it. I behaved terribly to you. And I'm disgraced to the good friends Matthew and Marilla who will let me stay at Green Gables. Although I'm not a boy and use them on the farm as they hoped. No, I am a dreadfully wicked, ungrateful, and useless girl. And I deserve to be cast out by respectable people forever. Very wicked of me to fly into a temper because you told me the truth. It was the truth. Every word you said was true. My hair is red, and I'm freckled and skinny. What I said to you was also true, but I shouldn't have said it. <laughs> Mrs. Lynn, please, please forgive me. If you refuse, it will be a lifelong sorrow to me. You wouldn't want to inflict a lifelong sorrow on a poor little orphan. You. Even if she had a dreadful temper? Oh, I'm sure you wouldn't. Mrs. Lynn, please, please forgive me. I apologize pretty good, wouldn't you say? I suppose since I had to do it, I might as well do it thoroughly. I know I make a lot of mistakes, but have you noticed one very encouraging thing about me, Marilla? I never make the same mistake twice. I've only accidentally gotten my best friend drunk one time, and I've only accidentally nearly did but didn't actually poison the new minister with a cake flavored with liniment one time. And yes, okay, I make a lot of new mistakes each day. It's the downside of having such a lot of imagination. But don't you see, Marla? There must be a, a limit to the amount of mistakes one person can make. Even someone with a lot of imagination. And when I get to the end of them, then I'll be through with them. That is a very comforting thought. Great job. That was Anna Green Gable.